Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we are trying out Julian Serrano Tapas here at Aria. It's right in the lobby. Absolutely beautiful decor. The menu looks fabulous. Let's try this place out. Let's go. Here we go. got the pina smash this morning. Vodka, pineapple, puree, simple syrup, lemon, and mint. Let me tell you, first, that mint is very, very fresh. Uh, the best ice in the world. It's kind of like those little chunks. Like crushed. Crushed ice. It's like a liquid pina, like a liquid pina colada. Duh. <laughs> it's like a iced pina colada, not a, you know, most of them are like ice cream. This is more like pina colada on the rocks. There we go. <laughs> I think it's delicious. Cheers. All right. I got the hand peel that's gin, lemon, orange, lime, and tonic. And she warned me that it is very strong. And so she actually brought me an extra thing of tonic. When I read the lemon, orange, lime, I assumed it was more like juice. I think it's just rind. Well, it's supposed to say like Sprite. Yeah. Lime, orange. So I actually I had a little sip of it and it was strong. So I've already poured more tonic in there. Now it's much better. Yeah. Yep. Vegetarian paella is the uh, paella of the day. So for lunch, you get a plate, um, whereas at dinner, you can get a full pan, I guess. That takes oh, really? 45 to 60 minutes. Okay. And then this is the shrimp ceviche. We got more coming too chicken croquetas, which the first time we tried them, we called chicken nuggets, <laughs> which is chicken and bechamel fried. And then bacon wrapped dates. Yum. And then we also got the pork sandwich. Suckling pig, heirloom tomatoes, onion. Spanish aioli, caramelized onions. Oh, maybe it's Spanish aioli on the uh, paella too then. Yeah. This is quite the feast. All right, guys, I'm gonna try the uh, sandwich. <laughs> so, bocadilla de con, <laughs> cochonillo. So, what, first thing off, this um, outer layer, which I must be some kind of bread, is very crispy. Oh, I can hear it a little. Mm -hmm. So, it is toasted. Oh, that suckling pig. is so moist. Mm. That eats so good. The suckling pig is super moist. The bread has um, got a nice crunch to it, but not overly crunchy. There's a good balance between meat and bread ratio. Is there a green tomato in there? Uh, yes, it does appear that. But that aioli. Aioli is good. Yeah, All it right. is really good. How about you try that date? Oh, okay. <laughs> So we fell in love with bacon wrapped dates, mostly from Giada, mm -hmm. about a year and a half ago. Same. This one has goat cheese on the inside, apple puree. Oh. Yeah. So the bacon has got a nice crisp to it, and the goat cheese inside is just so smooth, but that bacon offers that smokiness. You're gonna love this. We're gonna have to fight over that third one. Nice. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with the chicken croquetta. I want to cut this so you can see. Um, so it is, a, it is a bechamel sauce with chicken inside of it, and then it's got a paprika aioli. And I imagine, Josh, if we don't like this, something's going to be wrong. <laughs> we love chicken croquettas. Yep. Our friend Audrey made us some, and they were delicious. Is your finger in the way? Now your finger was. <laughs> um, 
All right, so the first time we tried it, we did call them like chicken nuggets with cheese. And we call them fancy chicken nuggets. <laughs> right. <laughs> they definitely eat that style. It, it is a little bit thicker of a batter than you would think. Um, but it's still good. I, I really enjoy it. Good. Uh, and then this is the vegetarian paella, which is Chef's Daily Special. I'm just going to eat it right out of here. Is, you okay with that? Yeah, absolutely. That's delicious. I would, I was really hoping to get a meat one, but this one is very good. It's just a very good rice. It's got like a little extra coating of flavor on the outside. The, Paella takes a long time to cook. It does, yeah. 45 to 60 minutes if you're gonna order the, the dinner portion. I like it and I do like the garlic aioli. It adds, adds a little bit more creaminess to it. These are all good. All right, so I I wasn't gonna like say what I thought about the food or about the sandwich on camera, but as I started eating it, it is so damn good. The bread is so crispy on the outside. The sauce on the inside just adds so much flavor and creaminess. The green tomato kind of cuts it with a little bit of acid and the pork is amazing. Bocadilla de cochinillo. Definitely, definitely get it if you come here. This ceviche looks so fresh. There's avocado, cucumber. Oh man, those chips got some salt on them, yes. <laughs> we did go with this as the last bite because it's cool. it was the first to arrive, but everything else arrived like within two minutes. It's so, shrimp ceviche, right? Yeah. Oh, I better put some avocado shrimp on it. Shrimp ceviche, you can see there's so very the fresh ingredients. So the chips don't look like regular tortilla chips they kind of have a I don't know they almost look like a vegetable chip I tried to look on the menu I didn't see it okay um, I do see peppers onions I think the little red thing here if I remember correctly from the past is not a tomato it's that a looks pepper. like a pepper to me. yeah <laughs> so be careful gonna be some heat let's try it now Rachel used to be a giant ceviche fan. We have not had have ceviche not had for much. probably close to a year, I bet. At least. Um, so how is it coming back? I don't think you'll like it. So I'm just gonna pull it over here. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Josh isn't gonna like it. So I should just eat it all and I'll tell you guys how. Like this is, I'm glad I'm ending on this. We were just talking, the rest of our dishes, kind of because of how rich they were, they were a little heavy. This is gonna be a perfect thing to end on. I don't even know a thing that I'll need dessert. This is fantastic. The only thing that would make this better, give me a cold beer with it too. Well. And a beach. We'll have to go get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I can't just leave him hanging. I gotta let him have a bite of the ceviche so as I well. So I did make a very good looking one. Yeah. What did you think about the chips before you take a bite? I after haven't you eaten inspected it. them. No, but after you inspected them, do they look like regular potato chips? No. These are definitely not regular potato chips. Um, all right, I'm going to take a stab at this. I might have to cut out because it'll sound so dumb. Is there such a thing as like a rutabaga chip? Oh, okay. We'll find out. Um, I have no idea what a rutabaga looks like <laughs> or tastes like, but <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Let's try this chip. Oh, the juices just ran down your arm. <laughs> That's so good. Right? Super fresh. I do love the chip. It's got a nice crisp. It's very light though. Um, but it's super salty. And it's so good that way. Um, tons of acid in this in this shrimp ceviche. So salty, acidic, good textures. Actually it's ending up being a very good ender. Whereas I think normally it'd be your starter. So we're definitely saying that it's a root vegetable. It's not a potato, it's not a corn chip, but if you know what this is, you let us know down below. All right, we just finished up here at Julian Serrano Tapas. What'd you think about that? I thought it was really good. I thought it was a great lunch spot with a few different choices. Yeah. Everywhere from that vegetarian dish, uh, the paella, to the ceviche and everything in between. So I yeah. thought it was really good. I actually thought it was even better than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what would you say, we had five dishes, what would you say the two would, you would reorder would be? Okay, so to be fair, I would eat all of them again. <laughs> yes, true, um, I would do. The two that I would order again would be the pork sandwich, because it was just so good. It was it great was so texture, good. great flavors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the pork sandwich and the bacon wrapped dates. Oh good, because I'm gonna do the ceviche and the bacon wrap dates because I know you're gonna have to share your sandwich. Yep, and then we'll get double bacon wrap dates. <laughs> so that right. still works out for me. <laughs> that's right. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.